и некого. Good evening. I never thought. Well, now you see you have nothing to fear. I'll see you safely home. Or my own house is quite nearby. Let me offer you a hot toddy to calm your nerves. You were in a little difficulty just now, I think. Yes. Thanks ever so. That chap said he'd buy me a drink, and next thing I knew, he dragged me off the street. I had a bad fright there, but I shall know better next time, miss. Shall you? So you were perfectly innocent, were you? No idea at all what a gentleman on the town might want with a young soldier boy. No, miss. Well, now that's a surprise. I had the impression that you understood the game pretty well. I've been watching you for a while, young man. There's no need to be coy with me. I'm sorry, miss. You made a mistake. No, I don't think I have. Truly, you have, miss. I'm very grateful, but honest, I'm not what you're looking for. Oh, yes, I think you are. But I'm a girl. Do you think I didn't know that, you little fool? Though you wear the outfit far better than most of the lads do. And you have the legs for it, too. Oh, yes. And none of your gentlemen guessed. If they did, they didn't say. And anyway, I was pretty strict about what they could and couldn't touch. And it all went off all right until tonight. Pretty strict, were you? I wonder, should I like you to be pretty strict with me? But there's no need to be afraid. This could be the luckiest night of your life. Come, come. Where's your sense of adventure? Take my arm. Don't think of making a run for it. Corder is quick as well as strong. How warm it is in here. Not too warm for you, I hope. Perhaps a bit. What's your name? Nancy. King. And I think you might have offered me a glass of wine and a cig. I beg your pardon, Miss King. My name is Leatherby, Mrs. Diana Leatherby. Have you heard that name before? No. All the better. There. If you were the king of pleasure and I were the queen of pain, you're very handsome, Miss King. I know. Oh. What have we here, I wonder? <laughs> So, all your promise has come to nothing after all. Take those off. <clears throat> Give me the glass and the cigarette, quickly. You may leave the jacket on, and the boots, and the hat. Go through there into the bedroom and open the chest under the mirrors. Captain!
Come here. Oh, you sleep like a child. I've been up this half hour making a fearful row and still you slumbered on. I've rung for breakfast. I hope you're hungry. Yes. Yes, I am. Good. Oh, here she is. Morning, ma'am. Morning, miss. Very good, Blake. Draw a bath for Miss King. Oh, and tell Mrs. Hooper I'll speak to her about luncheon. Yes, ma'am. There's a Persian story I read as a girl. A beggar sets a genie free from a bottle and is rewarded with a wish. He can live in ordinary comfort for 70 years. Or in pleasure. With a princess for a bride. Servants, every desire satisfied for 500 days. Now, if you were that beggar, which would you choose? The pleasure. Good. <laughs> so did the beggar. So... Will you stay with me, Nan, and be pleasured and pleasure me in your turn? Stay with you as what? Your guest, your friend, your servant? As my tart, you silly girl. No, 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 not in a hole and corner way. You'll ride out with me to the park, attend me at the theatre, wear the finest clothes. But you'll belong to me. And we'll pleasure each other. How does that seem? I don't know. I don't know enough about you to know whether I like you. And you don't know me. I know all I need to know about you. You're like me. You showed it last night, and you're showing it now. You hunger for your own sex. You hunger for the pleasure I can give you, don't you? Yes. There are moments in our lives that change us. That night when Kitty cast her rose at me and sent my admiration tumbling over into love. And this was another. The start of a new life. Yes.